Here we go again. Another test drive from Maple Motors. This is a 1988 Monte Carlo SS. This one's got a 350 under the hood. Looks like the AC's under here. Power steering. We're gonna take it down the road, point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. This one's got disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear, aftermarket American racing wheels. Check us out, maplemotors.com. I have financing and shipping available for you, along with about 100 detailed pictures. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off, we're gonna look around the interior, kind of check everything out. This is a very clean Monty here. Looking across the dash, looks pretty good. It does have that crack right there in the middle. Sliding on through here. Go ahead, place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Got the tilt column. Windshield wipers. Showing 34,000 miles. It's probably more like 134. Radio. Oh, we got the tape in there right now. And it's working. Blower motor. Blower motor's working. It's not coming through the front vents though, it's coming through the dash there. And it doesn't feel very cold, so I don't think that AC is going to be working correctly. Checking out the interior some more. Looks decent up in here, let's try the windows. Not too bad there. Let's come down with the passenger one. Back on up. A little bit slow. I'm gonna use that to put y'all on. Let's hit the road. All right, we're getting ready to take off here. Let me grab my seatbelt. We'll put it on. Anything I see, I will let you know. That's why I do these videos. I was a little bit low. Coming from inside the steering column there. There we go. It's that metal plate on the bracket here. Looks like all the gauges are working on the dash, the oil pressure, the temperature gauge, the tack, speedo, and the gas gauge. Seems to be shifting out pretty good. Car's going straight down the road, not having any issues with that. As soon as I turn, it turns. Pretty tight steering. Kick down. Kick down's hooked up. That's your passing gear. Brakes. Brakes are stopping good. Stopping fast. exhaust leak on the right side passenger side of the motor I can hear it sucking air over there this thing rides smooth down the road hitting a few bumps on that bridge we don't need gas I'm gonna grab a Gatorade it's it's 100 degrees here in Tennessee feels awesome <laughs> we'll continue this test drive Gatorade will help me focus but yeah I'm going to go get that and then we'll, we'll drive around the parking lot get some outside shots I'll also do some undercarriage shots with the light we'll get this done for you
deal. I've let this car sit here and idle a while. I've got some outside shots. Engine temperature is probably around 180. It's definitely below 200. It's on the low side of the dash here. Oil pressure right now is at 30 at maybe a 700 idle. Give it a little gas and shoot on up to 45. Getting ready to pull out of the parking lot here, just kind of checking everything over. Figured I'd give y'all some extra shots before we headed out of the parking lot here. Get some Gatorade in me. I knew this would come in handy. All right, let's get y'all strapped up to my head. I really don't know how these GoPros withstand all this heat. The one on my head right now is just like scalding hot. Still record. is just nice and smooth on this one this is a great running and driving car could definitely see you doing a uh, daily driver out of it i try to pick flaws but there's not there's not many on this one not with the running and driving i'm gonna go around when we get back to the lot and look for like chips and scratches and rust paint flaws we'll even check the interior out the interior looks great on this car though somebody's taking care of it I think basically the only thing that I've seen, a little bit of fading at the bottom, just barely, not much. And then uh, a the little crack right here on the dash. And that exhaust leak on the passenger side of the motor. through Brian's I like to skip over and come down here they've got all kinds of uh, customized rides lifted trucks they do lift kits interiors stereo systems wheels tires parts accessories slingshots they probably did the wrap on that do a lot of 90 model trucks Jeeps so they could take this car and just completely deck it out with wheels, tires, and stereo. Do anything you want. Yeah, that column piece right there is making a bunch of noise. So what I'm gonna do here is pull in this parking lot next door and get some outside shots. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, share, like, subscribe, and I'll keep them coming your way. We're back at the car lot now, and we're gonna be walking around this Monte Carlo. I'm gonna get up close and personal, look for chips and scratches, and he kinda you know flaws you would want to know about and there's a secondary uh guy that's up here he does detailed pictures he actually started the pictures first before the videos be sure to check that out he picks out flaws gets up under the car and posts them to maplemotors.com while you're on there check it out because we got financing and shipping available and all of the inventory 
Let's get up close and personal on this one and see what we can find. Coming around the lower portion, you see it's got a lot of little chips, some paint cracks, some spider webbing in the front bumper. Trying to block my shadow here, keep it out of the picture. Lots of little spider webs. Coming down the side here, you got some chips on top. A little bit of dirt and dust from the road there. From the test drive, it looks like armor all got on the outside of the paint job. Somebody uh, added some guard here to the bottom, all the way down the side of the car. Got some chips there. Couple little spots on the back here. That guard is thick back here, dude. It is thick. The corner here. Couple chips, scratches, little cracks. Looks like the bracket's loose on the back here. May need to be re-welded. I've seen it was lower. Got some light scratches. Paint flaws here. Little chips in the paint. They got that rubber guard around the edge here. Needs to be re glued. Specs in the paint. Got a little spot there in the paint. Went up over the top portion. Front windshield. Oh, looks like he's got some bug splatters. This one came in pretty much today, which is Monday now. And I'm working on videos for Tuesday for y'all. And we cleaned it up as fast as we could. It looks like they forgot to scrub the bugs off the windshield. <laughs> you got some paint chips. You got some chips here as well around this window that stuff's coming off too those little black specks it really feels like there's a lot of wax on this car a little thick back here you got some cracks in the bumper spider webbing Talk about all these bugs popping up. Wasn't like that before I went and did the test drive. Guess I picked up a lot of them, didn't I? Seal around the trunk. A little weak there. Weather stripping needs to be replaced. Looks like it's doing its job, but it's weak. Up in the corner here, you got some paint chipping off, some rust trying to come through where the paint has chipped. There we go. It's been painted a while in here. You can see it's all chipping up there in the front. Coming down with the trunk lid. So you got some rust bubbles popping up on the outside here. You got some cracks as well. A couple little chips. A little bubble there. Here and here. on top light cracks let's go down this side now 
bottom here. It's for that liner they put down on the bottom, the rock guard. It's a chip there. Little scratch. There's a chip there as well. A couple chips in that liner there at the bottom of the door. A touch up mark there. Chip here as well. Got all the chips at the bottom there. Put over the fender. Little spot there. Paint's a little thick in the front corner. Paint's a little yellowed in this section too. Couple little dimples. Light scratch. Like some sanding marks here. Cracking in the paint. Like silicone up top. They are trying to keep it from leaking. It was probably leaking at one point. You gotta take the windshield out and redo the seal to keep that from happening. A lot of times people put silicone there to prevent it. It does help for a while. I haven't noticed any leakage. Of course, we just got this car. Okay, let's go ahead and check the interior out. Get her started up and that'll conclude this one. The door panel on this one looks great. The weather strip is a little weak on top, but it's still soft. You got some cracking going down in the corner there. Look at the bottom of the door. When you go out looking at cars, always look at the bottom of the door. You can tell a lot about it. See all the little cracks and stuff. The jam. Well, the stripping up here is a little loose. Seat looks pretty good. Interior is nice on this one. Go ahead and jump in here and we'll start her up. I did come back. I did go inside and cool off. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't come out and just start this right away. I waited about 10 minutes and did some other stuff. Didn't give it any fuel, just wanted to see what it would do. Give it some gas now. sounds good just that one bracket came off there needs to be hung back up so it's even
got some imperfections here on the nose. Paint job's not perfect on this one. Okay, guys. Be sure to check out those detailed pictures now. Go to maplemotors.com, look at that. If you need financing, I have that. I also have shipping information. You can get a quote. And of course, we sell uh, cars all the time. We have uh, 10 going on every Monday for you to pick from. So don't miss that. It's usually Mondays around 11. I think it's been pretty consistent. We've posted uh, 10 every Monday at 11. And then right after that, we'll do the lot walk on YouTube here. We'll do the test drives. I do TikTok videos, which are a little bit different. We even post to Instagram and Facebook. And if you enjoy all this, please share, hit like, subscribe. That helps me out quite a bit. And I'll keep these videos coming your way. Rain, shine, sweater, ice. I'll be out here test driving these classic muscle cars. I'll see you later, guys.